Hey folks, welcome back to Stranded Alien Dawn and what I'm guessing is going to be kind of a cleanup episode. We have a, actually a lot of cleaning to do. <laughs> We've got hides scattered all over half this map through here and up there. Bug meat, regular meat, all kinds of harvesting to do, a house to finish. Want to move these barrels that we're using for uh, uh, creating fuel up into this area where it's more convenient. That way we can have the, the meat all stored in one place rather than try to spread it out to two different areas. Um, got some mining to do. We got a couple of trips to make. Just a lot going on. So I'm kind of letting folks you know recuperate and get back i've been working up hard the last few days all these trips to the bug nests and back and we need to mine all those too uh simon is going to run off and get bug meat that edmund didn't finish bringing back because he was falling apart he made it back and he got himself a fruit cake and he's a or some kind of some kind of a, of a dessert that made him happy um there was meat out here, insect meat. There, it kind of flickers a little bit when it's the correct one. So it's there and there. And he's heading to... Uh, Simon is heading to... Where am I? Simon is going over here. So, why is he going there? Wait a minute, let me follow this. He's going up here. So there's no way to connect those with this in one trip. That I'm aware of. What happens if I daisy chain these together? Let's try this again. We've got... Pull up a little. Is it here? Where was I? Am I not in the right place? There we go. Now. Okay, now. There were just two big piles of it. There we go. So these two, if I told him to as well haul that, what would he do? His pathway now is still going to the same place. But is he going to go here, then go back, and then go here and go back? Or is he going to make a circuit? Before the last update, I would say he's going to make two trips, but they've been a little bit smarter since then, so it's possible. If I get a chance to watch him, I will, but... Um, Umiar is up and researching railgun snipers. How's he doing otherwise? He needs some food, so otherwise he'll be fine. Paulette, I think, went back to sleep. Edmund went to sleep. I sent all three of them back to bed. They had gotten up way too early and, and were way behind on on their... So you are making... Ooh! They're smarter! They can figure it out! Well, that's nice. In that case, Simon, I'll just add this to your list and you're hopefully going to figure it all out. Okay. Then I need you to eat. And then I need basically to use Simon all day long making trips. He's the fastest walker. I think it's smartest to use him to go and get all of these things that are waiting. Um, if the game will let us, maybe tomorrow morning we will send off one or two balloon trips. I'm thinking I kind of like to use Edmund right now to do some construction. So Carter can't do it all on his own. Uh, Rita definitely needs to do as, as much... Uh, that's interesting. It's still blue like it never got harvested. Huh. Even though it's sitting... Oh, boy, look at that. It took quite a while for it to think through its life there. Rita, you look like you are... You never really got to bed, did you? What time is it? Eight in the morning. Yeah, this isn't going to do us any good to have you breaking all day long. So you go ahead and go back to bed. Rita, you're this one. You go back to bed and... and uh, then we'll have you harvest all of these. Probably try to have you harvest everything. And then maybe tomorrow we can send you off on one of those missions and Edmund on another one. We've got any deadlines in particular? Um, cruise ship, spaceship. 
armory. I want Rita to go back to this one. And I want Edmund to go to this one. So I think that's the plan. The four days is the only deadline on them. Okay, Carter, you are doing what right now? You're eating. And then... Deconstructing shelter. And if I don't let you do that, you're going to just keep defaulting to it, aren't you? Probably so. But can I get you to at least load the materials into this? Carter. Can you... Waiting for other construction. Ah. Uh, can you do those and then do... Can't do anything, huh? Well, you can throw in some windows. Okay, we'll do that. And... We still have some of these even though they're rotting. I wonder... Do we have any of those on a shelf? What were they called? Glitter caps. There's 215 somewhere. They should be in a fridge. There. Right there. In fact, I just haven't really spent the time to get in real close and look at some of these things. There's raw red meat. Pumpkins. Some raw insect meat right there piles of grain what are you your your dog food hmm life on that should be indefinite if it's frozen right yeah indefinite refrigerated or frozen if i were to pull this back out yeah let's keep empty and have somebody put those back in the fridge and Maybe we'll do this again someday, but I'm thinking no more, no more dogs for now until we figure out how to protect them. When I can't send them inside, make them stay in during an attack, then it's not going to do a lot of good. And I really can't, I guess I have to get this put into a fridge in order to get the command to be able to right click and get rid of them. If I want to dump something in here, well it doesn't actually say, I guess it's got to be rotted, rotting to it'll have a little symbol down here and let you know you can right click it to, to delete it to throw it away but this doesn't give me that option yeah it's this one right here 12 percent shelf life and there's no instructions on how to make it go away so we just get to live with the green fog simon is back he needs to eat and enjoy his life for 15 minutes <laughs> actually yeah yeah some relaxation and then he needs to start hauling all day long so carter you got the flooring done good you're probably though yep you already did it you tore it down uh moving a wood wooden fermentation barrel okay after that you are in good shape. Let's get the stuff constructed. So after that, I want you to construct four walls. And you'll bring the materials over and get that done. Then I guess have you go ahead and construct two shelters. And that'll be finished. Kana is doing what right now? She is... Oh, she's working on electronics. Good. I want to assemble a railgun sniper as soon as possible. But what else do we need? We need to get this guy built too so that Umayar can start researching a lot faster and see if it opens up new things. I'm not sure if it does or if it's just a, a speed thing. So Paulette is cooking. Simon is waiting for a new instruction. Yeah, you need to be traveling today. How best to do that? What do we actually have? So up in here I know there's a whole bunch of hides there we go. There's 116 hides just right there. And there was another group of hides left over in this area somewhere. 38 somewhere in here. We could try for all that now that, now that we see it works. Okay. So hides, there's one more group somewhere. There they are. So if I had you go for the middle one. Uh, your relaxation though. Let's go back to you. Let's have you spend some time right here and get you up so you don't immediately go back into a wanting to to break or something. Uh, Edmund is hauling those. Railgun snipers are done. Which means it gets built here? Or does it get built there? Uh, craft weapons. Railgun sniper. Ooh. 
Um, how do you deal with that? It'd be nice to. It'd be nice to always have one in stock. Now, as soon as I assign it to somebody, they'll, they'll then be a deficit, and it'll they'll it'll come back up. They'll have to make another one. So I think that will still work. Uh, not enough resources, which means we need. Okay, that shows what it needs. What do we actually have? So power cell and a CPU core. We have power cells. She is making a... That symbol there. Which is... A CPU core. Okay. So she's making the basics to build a railgun sniper. Good. That's the only thing we need. Uh, so you're carrying those. Carter's carrying that. Then Carter's going to start working on all these. And Edmund is probably going to just continue moving those, and that'll be done. Um, Simon is getting better. <clears throat> Get him up to 90, we'll call that good enough. All right, so up in here, let's find this again, right in there. I need a Simon to go and get this one. Hall hides, those three, and then when you're done... It's here somewhere. Looking for a 38. Ah, here you are. Then, hall hides. And these rocks always make a whistling noise. I'm so glad the house is not right there. <laughs> that would drive me nuts. But that's all that's up here left is, is hides and some manure. Yeah, so that takes care of this all in one run. Then we'll work on this area for Simon. Okay, Rita is sleeping still. We are at 1,400. I'd say she's caught up enough. Let's get her some kind of a meal. Um, if we eat, a f eat grain porridge, and then let's get the cloth harvested. And that'll be your day. And maybe pumpkins... Or maybe... Eh, we'll see. Oh, these would be nice. Yeah, let's get these done next. Um, I don't know if we're going to be able to do them both the same day, though. But those are the two probably more important ones. Um, Paulette, you're just going to be cooking all day? Yep. So, Simon, Edmund, Kana, you are assembling. Lumiar is working now on laser pikes. And then I need you to get back to, yeah, flare shielding. After that, battery optimization might not be a bad thing. Hmm. Carbon rooms, though. Ooh. Let's make that next. Both of these are just 12-hour projects. Carbon rooms means that I can then switch this room over. So it means we're going to need more carbon coming down. What's in stock right now? Uh, construction materials. Where is that? Oh, it's just, it's got its own category. 200. I need 10 for a railgun sniper. Just 10. Okay. So, and a carbon, oh, I guess I can't see it yet. Are all the walls consistent? Five, 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 five. So, how many walls are in a freezer? There's roughly, if it triggered them all, I think it did. Then there's uh, 26 brick walls. So, 260 and half, what is that, 130? So, we've got enough to do the freezer, maybe even the roof and make this thing as energy efficient as possible so that maybe this guy will be able to maintain ah uh, we're at 39 outside we're at 74 by one heat wave and we're gonna wipe this out anyway paulette is handling a cook stove by running long distance again what are you off to are we out of sticks or is there something else here? No, you're just sticks. And it's just those six sticks. 
Um, you're hay. So where are the other 50 sticks? I don't know. Apparently those are the closest, though. Okay. Well, darn. Um, is there any other way to deal with that quickly? I'll have somebody else go and get those sticks. Paulette, can you cut just that and haul that in? And I'll have... Edmund, you are where right now? You're removing a fermentation barrel. And you are in horrible condition. Okay, so you need to come over here and grab a meal. Uh, eat fruitcake at the very least. And Carter, you are constructing a shelter with the rest of the sticks. There they are. And you're loading up a stove. Yeah. Well, Carter, when you're done, you're going to come out here and you're going to cut five bushes and six bushes. And if I can get that last one, one bush. And then you are going to, yeah, Edmund, then you are going to haul all of them in. Okay, that's Carter's plan. Paulette is just going to get what she needs, or she might not even need it anymore. I think Carter might have just loaded her up. Hmm. Let's see. Stove, fuel, 10, and fuel, 10. So, Paulette, just kind of cancel that. Where do you go now? Now you're going back in to work on something. Good. So, just keep you cooking. Kana is assembling. Umayar is researching. And Edmund's eating. Okay, Carter's constructing. Simon is transporting. Let's go check up on Simon. So you're coming back with 154. You got it all. Great. And you're still in pretty good shape. Let's send you in for a meal. Some porridge or something. Or even just some blueberries. Do they exist? You could do this. Uh, eat bush fruit. And then we can send you right back out into this area and get something else. So what is the the best plan for this area? If we grab all of that, more hides, we got nine raw meat. Because there was more than that, so I'm thinking the wildlife is eating it. Seven. Yeah, it's being eaten right now, right there. So hides is really all that we have left. Yeah, okay. So in that case, Simon, when you're done, well... Where are the hides? Let's start over here. 157. So flashed right there. 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 And over here? Okay. So Simon, when you're done, you're coming over here to haul hides. And then... I get kind of in this area... There's something. Haul those hides. Laser pikes are done. Good. And I need a big cluster of hides out over here somewhere. Where was the rest of it? It's all kind of in here, huh? Where's a big, a big one? Eight. Thirty-four. Thirty. All right, that's kind of in the middle of them. Then you're going to grab that one, Simon. So I'm thinking that's close enough to all the different groups for him to be able to uh, hopefully track from one to the other. So Simon, you are grabbing something to eat, then you're going to take off. There you are. Okay, Paulette is drinking tea before she gets back to making more meals, right? Uh, appreciating a shroom torch. Okay, Carter, how you doing? You're cutting away. And we're making a, a landing over here. <laughs> Carter, you are in pretty rough shape. Are you, this is your last one? Not really. Hopefully you can pull it off before you break. You're just at low at the moment. Yeah, usually when they get pretty rough at the end of a cutting project, they then fail to complete it. 
So if we make these two your last ones, maybe you can still pull this off. You're still low. Laser pikes, railgun snipers. So rig a power cell and a hard enough handle, and you have a spear with a laser sharp plasma blade. The real effort here is figuring out how to use it safely. So he is picking up and picking up. Good. Railgun snipers. Railgun snipers use the electric energy of a power cell to magnetize and shoot out large metallic bullets at high velocity. The CPU core control targeting assistance provides longer range and deadlier accuracy. That sounds really good to me. Okay, and that's more of them. How many can you handle at once? That's all you can get. Okay, Simon, you are doing okay so far. Looks like you're going to figure it all out. Got another pack over here. We'll stay long enough to see if he makes the turn. And then after that, I think we're going to call cleanup done up here. Whatever's left is left. Unless we do any more hunting and then pick it up then. Okay, you've got this figured out. You... Oh, I thought you had died. No, nope, you're good. And there's 21 here. No, you're not eating it. And he figured it out. Okay, good. Simon's got it. Carter's bringing that in. Rita's still harvesting out here. And we've got this stuff to bring in, too. And these. And you just finished. I had such a nice meal. Oh, and you're bringing it in. Cool. These aren't ready yet. I see. 97%. Okay. So now we've got the ability to make more clothes than we know what to do with. Paul is going to sleep. <clears throat> Khan is sleeping. We did not get our CPU core finished. So can we tell how far we got? I see this. I don't see a progress bar. And it's not one of one, so it's not finished and sitting on the table. So I don't know how to tell other than have her... Uh, start working again and then see the bar that shows up. Paulette's gone to sleep. Edmund's sleeping. I think... Oh, we've, we've got bedrooms. We do. Uh, Carter's going to be... I can get Rita to move her own bed over. So let's move Rita's bed to here. Like that. And if Carter stayed... I think I'll have Umayar move his own bed into here. Uh, door is there. Let's make these two symmetrical like that. Oops. I cannot move it twice. So we got to start over. You move like that. Okay. So will that trigger you? It will. So Umayar... Can you... Currently unable. So you're doing what? You're idling. That means somebody else got the order? Carter eating. Edmund. No. Rita. Why can he not move? Is it because he didn't finish his animation? No. Move wooden bed. Currently unable. Oh, hey, when the game does this, there's no explanation as to why that is. He doesn't have anything stacked up in his queue. There's a transport for Simon, but he's he is transporting. I bet you Simon's got it, and I can't cancel him from doing it. Can I tell Carter to do it? The right click doesn't do anything. Interesting. There it is. Move two wooden beds. So you can. Now why can't you? <laughs> Rita is getting seven to eat. So Carter, when you're done, you move them. That's all I can do. No one else will let me, uh, let me even interact with it. So you are going to sleep all the way down there. Let's just give you a job to do. You can do what for a moment? Why don't you come make a, tr 
a load of these in. Unless you need something else. Not really. No, so you just work on that. You don't need to go and make this your bed. You didn't just trigger that to become your bed, did you? You did. Owner. All right, shared. <laughs> okay. Rita's going to do the same thing. Unless Carter gets her bed moved first. And he is. For a minute, I thought Carter was just going to go to bed and heck with him. But he actually did it. So, Rita, you're going to freak out here in a moment. So, why don't you haul some of these in now? And we'll cancel that as soon as, uh, as, soon as your bed is moved. Rot it away. Okay. So, Simon should be back any time now. He is. And your bed is... That's Edmund. Edmund, go to bed. What time is it? Four in the morning. Oh, you're, you're up and your rest is done. Ew. Okay, how about we send you on a mission? Edmund. Fullness, come eat some bread. And Rita, that's Umayar's. That's Rita's. Okay. So, Rita, it is four in the morning and you haven't slept yet. So, cancel what you're doing and go to bed. Okay, uh, manually go to bed. And Carter's moving the other bed, then he's got to go to bed. Omar is gathering. He's just getting here. He's got to go to the. No, no, not planting. Did I do the wrong thing? I meant haul. He's He started planting, all right. Yeah. Okay, so you haul those and you go to bed. Carter's moving your bed over. Rita's going to sleep. Simon is... Simon, the con is assembling. You are going to work on something. You need to go to bed, Simon. Simon's bed now is here. That's not a Simon. Simon, that's your bed. Go to bed. Yep. So, Umayar. Okay, your job is done there. Then you are going to go to bed, which is now right here. Okay. That's done. This has been sitting outside ever since I told her to drop it. Yep. <laughs> Too many projects to do. So, Kana apparently did finish one? No. Does it take that long to make a CPU core? 12 hours. Hmm. I would have thought that she was further along, unless right after we saw her, she went and did some relaxing or eating or something and never went back to it. That could be it. Um, Edmund, that's where I was. Edmund, I told you to get some food, and then you are all the way down here working, moving a barrel. Okay, well, then you can leave right after that. Let's, you've got fuel. Let's set up an expedition to a shooting star for Edmund and send. And done. Rita was the other one. She needs a little bit of everything right now. And I would really have liked to have gotten her to do this. She got these done. wonder how long it would take. Hmm. Maybe we can send her off. Are you going to start eating them? You really are, aren't you? Yep. Hmm. Kana. Edmund. Not much I can do with you guys. Paulette's busy. Yeah, we're just going to get some of our stuff eaten. Carter, you were supposed to go to bed afterward. You probably never did. Carter, why don't you go to sleep? Of course, you'll be up at 7 or 8. At seven, relaxing. I'll have to tell you manually to go back to sleep again. Simon, <clears throat> same thing. You both need to go to bed and stay there. Umar and Rita, same thing. So, might be at seven o'clock now. They didn't trigger. Interesting. So, it overrode the schedule. Okay. 
Good. I don't have to do it manually. Edmund is moving that, and then will he get the cue to... There's nothing queued. Drops that off on an expedition. Okay, so he's going to grab some food. Emergency supplies, it looks like. Kana is idling. She could grab a meal and then get back to work on a CPU core. And Paulette is idling because... It is 7 o'clock and they don't know what to do with themselves. And she doesn't need the relaxation. It's over 80%. So instead, let's get you to... What's our coffee situation like? Let's get you to make some tea, unless that sends you halfway across the, the planet to do it. Um, I don't see tea in there. There it is. Boil some tea and then get to work on something like... Oh, meat stew. Start using up some of this meat. And anything rotting in here? No green glows? No. So Edmund, you are running out to the balloons. And you didn't go this way. Why didn't you go that way? Oh, I never put the door in. <laughs> do we put a door in here or do we just make this part of the room? I think we just make it part of the room. This wall needs to be deconstructed. And... I thought I clicked on that balloon. Eh, oh well. Is there anybody who could just deconstruct that real quick? You're transporting... I wonder why you are picking those up. Why don't you tear this apart for me first? Just to make that happen. Otherwise, the four are still sleeping. It's nine in the morning. Can I wake any of them up? Uh, what was that noise? You moved, so you're no longer eating them. Okay, that was a pancock. Um, Umayar, 85%. Let's call you good. Rita, 97%. And Carter, 73. You can stay longer. And Simon. 97. Okay. Guys, go off and do what you need to do. Which is what? Rita's harvesting. Rita is harvesting right... Yeah, okay. Let's get that gone. In fact, for that matter, let's uh, harvest these as well. Just because you're here. And these. We really could use some more of those. So, Rita, when you're done... Harvest those. Oh, it's already in your queue, huh? Okay. And it's already in your queue. Okay. You got it. And Simon is going to build a crossbow. What's the condition of our crossbows? Do we need another one? Or is it time to shift over to railgun snipers? Here, crossbow, 33%. About the same. A little better, and a little better. Let's skip the crossbows. Let's move into better weapons and not spend the time. So, crossbows... You're right here. Let's just turn you off. So, limit reach, not enough resources. We're done with the workbench for now. So, Simon... <sighs> with your run speed, why don't you pick up these guys? Haul. I know he likes to craft, but... And we could have him craft more leathers. In fact, speaking of leathers... Yeah, when you're done with that, haul this guy too. So I don't know what happened there. It's like they brought over building materials, then when they finished building it, there were too many materials. I wonder if that update was in between those two steps, and they took away some of the necessary materials for that blueprint could be so you got most of it good and these guys are rotting that's what I was going to do Carter I think you're done now Carter I think you can do this if I have you construct mushroom torches 
Falling space debris. Okay. Would you use the rotted ones and get a little more life out of those? I don't know. We've got... Oh, oh, oh. it's going to land here. So this is toast. We're not going to... This one's not going to survive. But this guy may not survive either. Where are we? This is... Bug nest. Bug nest is here. So not this one. But this one. There. Yeah. I hear ya. There? There. Ah, I must be touching the bottom of my screen. It's trying to slide. I want to see what's going to happen here. Okay. There's a fresh one. So, that's actually kind of interesting. Look at the rust on here. The finish. The deterioration. Compared to... Expedition Complete Shooting Star... Pause compared to the same thing up here, the moss that's growing on it. I think that is cool. That they've that over time they continue to change. Yeah. Okay, so Edmund, I discovered some interesting rocks where the meteorite fell. They likely contain ore. Collect whatever you can. Good. We could use it. And I am lost. There we are. Okay. So was I doing anything? Simon is transporting. Um, Simon, when you're done with that... Well, you better get something to eat. Bread. And then transport a big pile of these guys. And then maybe grab some kind of relaxation. Was there a particular one you liked? Smoking. <clears throat> Which isn't a thing right now. One of these I had you guys set. <clears throat> Smoke leaf pipe. Not enough. So we need tobacco to be planted. That's like here. Chew root. Where? Here? Smokily field. I think there was smoke leaf here at one time and we got rid of it. So that's just not going to be a thing. Okay, so you do whatever you can do. And what flew by here? Ah, uh, you did. And you were landing in the tree. Yeah. All right, so Rita is doing what right now? You are now doing this because you. Did, we got 25 there, 25 there, and 10 there. Okay. So, yep, I think Simon's just going to be hauling all day today. Rita, do we have you go out on a mission or get these? Let's do a mission. Let's just see what's out there. So, come on in here and grab some bread. And then sit at another chair for a little bit. And we'll send you off on a uh, mission tonight. So laser pikes. We've got rotting away. Falling. And insufficient. Yep. Speaking of insufficient. How is Kana doing? She's in good shape. And she is... Three quarters of the way done there. Simon's eating. Rita's eating. Maybe they'll have a bit of a conversation together. So Kana spends a lot of time here and Umayar here. Pretty soon he'll be spending a lot of time here. Which is why I think their relationship is better than everybody else. Because they spend more time with each other. Whereas everybody else is running off doing things all over the place. And Carter is just now getting back with all of his shrooms and I don't know if he got the other one of these or if it rotted away don't know so Rita is yeah bored 
bored Simon with bland small talk. Okay. They had a conversation, then it failed. Okay. Um, so you're going to do that, and Simon is collecting. He's going to be taking a break. But that should pretty much top him off. So we can do things like haul that, haul that. So there's wine. And then you can come over here and, unless Carter just went and got it. Nope. You can haul the glitter caps and the other glitter caps. And is there anything else that would benefit us to have someone to quickly run through? Probably the rest of these. Haul cloths. Okay. Anything else on the ground? Mm. Yeah, we got a... Meteor rain. Oh. We saw what happened when lightning accidentally uh, lands on top of you. What the heck's a meteor going to do? I think I'm going to have to really be listening <clears throat> for those meteors coming down. In case I need to get somebody to run. <laughs> Carbon rooms. Hmm. Now that we know how to produce carbon nanotubes, we can use them to construct buildings. Carbon nanotube sheets have immense heat insulation properties. Also, they are electric conductors and can be mixed with phosphorus-rich soil to provide some nice luminescence. It won't let me scroll. If I do that from the bench, does that give me more information? What does it say we can build with that besides that? So, research uh, completed carbon nanotube rooms. Doesn't say. Just buildings made of. So, what's with the phosphorus rich soil to provide some nice luminescence? Does that unlock anything? Nothing new. That has anything to do with that. Huh. I don't know what to make of that. But let's think about putting in the orders of 26 walls reconstruct carbon nanotube. And do we do a roof? Five brick roofs. Let's do that as well. Reconstruct you as carbon roof. Okay. And do I get Carter working on that immediately? Actually, a Kana could work on that one, too. Oh, oh, oh. Big noise. Where are you? Okay, it's behind me now. Means it's over here somewhere. Yeah, somewhere out in front of us. Let me back up a bit. Nope, I just can't see it. I hear it. But I can't see it. So I don't know who to make move. Come on, there's a meteor coming down. Right on top of us somewhere. There you are. Boy, that was hard. I guess it was flying over the top of us. Well, that's a long way away. So we're not going to be getting the uh, advantage of that ore deposit. No. Yeah. 20 ore in there. Okay. But that's the idea. If one comes down right in here, or here... Is anybody out in the field right now? Or are we pretty much all home? Looks like we're all home. Okay. Alright. So I won't worry about too much unless it comes down on the house. So you're constructing those shroom torches, and Kana, let's give you some construction projects. You, Kana, are in decent condition. Let's have you... I would think the roof would be the higher priority. Reconstruct walls. I guess maybe if I can see it. Yeah, reconstruct roofs and come over here and do these as well I can't quite get roofs to show up in here 
uh, cancel roof in queue, but there's five of them, and the queue was two. Huh. Well, call that good. Maybe she'll move from one to the other. And maybe she'll bring enough carbon to uh, load up half the building. So Paulette is working on those kind of reconstructing. We're grabbing alloy. I missed something. Housing, roofs. You take four alloy and six carbon nanotubes. Oh, okay. I wonder if we can get the bricks back. Bricks right now is 105. Gotta keep track of that. Other meteor coming down. There he is. Boom. Right in there. Edmund's coming back. Oh, another meteor, too. Way over there. Is that one coming in? Or is that the sun? Boy, I don't know. I guess that's the sun. Hmm. Gotta work on that graphic. So you... Brought and dumped. So can you haul? And Carter is moving the last of the barrels. Okay. Which means this is now officially done. Good. Did we ever repair? Use. Apparently everything's reset and... Yeah, I don't think there's anything that needs to be repaired here. So we're ready for the next of those. Um, Simon is transporting, Carter is moving, Edmund is transporting. Just trying to decide what best to do next. Rita is harvesting. I kind of want to send Rita out on that next one. Maybe it's time to do that. So Rita, you are, in general, in good condition. Let's have you come up and sit, and we'll set this thing off. So, let's send you to this one, Rita, and send. And Rita, you are sitting. So, once you get your relaxation up, boy, you sound close. They, they always sound closer than they are. I'm trying to look up. Oh, you are closer than you are. Oh, he's coming in. I can't make Rita walk away any faster than that. There it is. Oh, man. That was close. Meteor rain. Gotta love it. Okay, Rita. Go sit down. <laughs> Simon's transporting. And... God is reconstructing, so... How much material did you... So these brick walls... Brick walls were constructing into carbon walls. So let's look at that one. Housing, walls. You also take metal alloys. Oh. Okay, so where did the ore go that Edmund just brought over? You're constructing a power pole. You've been wanting to do that for several episodes. But I think I'm just going to let you. Did these get loaded with ore? So what did you do with the ore that you just hauled? That would have gotten put on a shelf. There you are. No, that's silicon. There's 40 ore. That guy right there. Okay. I need someone to get those loaded in. Um... Umiar, can you make metal alloys from ore and from ore? Don't know how far that goes. Is it ten per? Ten per. Do that four times. We have enough sticks now for fuel. These loaded up. Fuel, they're loaded up. Okay. Simon's transporting those in. I heard another one crash somewhere. Another meteor. So we've got something to mine. That's actually what that is. That's a uh, that's a gift. As long as the gift doesn't kill us. <laughs> so that needs to be mined. If we're going to start making concrete, 
then these are going to need to be mined too. So let's get all the close ones. There was no real close ore. That was quite a walk, if I recall. So you guys, rock chunks, mine. Ore. Nothing in here. Nothing in there. Now. Closest ore is all the way out here. And... Up in there? Don't remember what was up here. There's a whole bunch of it up here. But it's such a long walk. But this whole area is just riddled with it. Insufficient storage space for... Fuel? For fuel. Then let's refuel this guy. So Rita's taken off. Um, who is dealing with that? Edmund. Is it just because you wanted to put these away? Or is it because someone tried to unload a fermentation barrel? Do these retain their fuel? 20. Yeah, there's still 20 in... Four, five of those? Hmm. So we've got quite a bit of fuel and we're out of shelves. And... hate to use that shelf for fuel. Let's put a shelf in here. Um... I guess it doesn't matter. Copy. Drop you... There. And let's set you up for nothing but... Okay, deselect all and fuel. Okay. So, Kana is going to build a railgun sniper. Thank you. So, Simon is moving fuel around. He's going to go fill up a balloon. Okay. Um, Edmund is constructing an air conditioner. Well, I think you're bringing some of the parts. Because... Tell me, you, you have a CPU core. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. That's for Kana to build a railgun sniper. So, not happening. You do not construct. Leave the CPU core alone. <laughs> you gotta keep your eyes open on these guys. They do things... Their own way, not my way. So Umayar is not in a happy mood and he is handling the furnaces. Simon is transporting the last of that. Good. And Kana, you went to go get some of the parts. Edmund is constructing a shelf. Oh, good. That's perfect. Then that will be the rest of the fuel storage there. In fact, maybe I can get fuel off of some of these shelves too. Oh, oh, got another meteor coming in. He is way out over there. Okay. So, yep, Connor's going to say, hey, hey, who took my CPU core? Arr. So, Umiar is still handling, he's only got half of them done. What kind of, oh, he's in horrible condition. Okay, you stop there and Grab some fruitcake. There you go. Paula is transporting some porridge. And yeah, he needs to relax after that too. So that's the end of his day. All right, you go and sit. And yep, there's the breakdown forecast. Now, Simon, what you up to? You're still in decent shape. You're transporting. Where are you going after this? You are appreciating a shroom torch. You don't truly need it. What else can I get you to haul? I'm just going to take as much advantage of you as possible. What is around here? What's outside that's rotting or something? Uh, grains. Yeah, bring all of these guys in. And when you're done, bring those in too. Silicon deposit. She just looked up the... It's probably not here anymore because of that. It might be. The shiny rock. Ore deposit. 
silicone deposit now. That was shiny rock, so Rita just discovered this on her trip. So the shiny rocks hold some silicone, which could be mined and used in the production of CPU cores, other advanced electronic components. All right, so that is that. And eventually you'll tell us what you found in that armory bay debris. So she went, Edmund went? Somebody went over there and there was a fire, it was Edmund and could either have butchered animals from the that were trapped in the fire or look for survivors but the chance was very small or put out the fires to go back to it to hopefully bring back weapons oh high physical skill will improve the scavenging results oh i didn't catch that darn it so that's not going to be as fruitful as it could have been okay because rita's only got a two physical darn well, if she brings back just one railgun sniper, that's it's worth the trip. Uh, carbon rooms research rotted away. Okay, so what's happened here? What we've got? Ooh, fancy! <laughs> and it's gonna look like a shed roof, which would look a lot better off of this. I think so. Yeah. Okay, good. So Carter is constructing a shelf, which means you are grabbing logs, okay? And you're going to do these shelves, which have been waiting for so long, though not truly important. Will be eventually. But these were actually a really good idea of hang keeping these in here. They store a lot more, so they are taking care of our storage. This is has gotten now everything no we we canceled it so let's turn that back on okay and i need somebody to continue where's umayar you are appreciating okay so your happiness has gone back up before you go to bed can you go ahead and finish this and this oh you grabbed your head again oh <laughs> So Simon is planting. Did I do that wrong again? I think I did. Can you haul grain and then haul grain? Okay. What's with these 19? What did I miss there? He must have done a math calculation and realized he can only fit all of this minus those 19 on a shelf. 240. Yep, that's what he did. Just to get, just to see if I would say, hey, wait a minute, and then try to make him do it over and over and over again until I, until I got so exasperated I gave up. <laughs> all right, so Kana's grabbing something to eat. It's... Midnight, it's time for these guys to go to bed. Edmund's going to construct a roof. He's going to throw all the materials in there. Do some building. He is. Maybe we can watch this being built. Where are you going? You're going to get... You're going outside to do it? I'm a little confused here. You're constructing this roof. I didn't know we didn't have roofs down over here. <laughs> oh, it's a good thing it wasn't winter time. Yeah. Let's turn these back on and re or continue constructing them now that we're not worried about the cold temperatures outside coming into the building through the vents. Um, we got these guys done, the poles. So we're now connected here which takes care of us in a thunderstorm while we're fighting. Otherwise, we have got this one and this one there. Probably should consider one more. You copy out to... Boy. Probably like that. 
Yeah, like that. So that space right there. So reduce by that one. Now you copy to there. Yeah, this is going to be fun. Maybe we don't connect that one to the grid. Or maybe between episodes I'll find the exact spots and, you know, cancel the, the, the fields and get some poles. i got to connect to here and cut across. I can't just piggyback through this one to that one. It won't work. Got to be pole to pole. Uh, we are playing. We're four in the morning. Everyone's sleeping. Rita's not actually arrived yet. Okay, she's probably there and asleep. And it's probably time that we do as well. We're at the end of our second day. So thanks for watching, guys, and I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.